Don't y'all want something new? Another Souls-like game? Jeez. I do not like Souls-like games. Who's this? I think they are the most miserable types of games on the planet. Too loud! You're playing too loud! There's enjoying a challenge in a video game, and then there's this, which takes it to a whole other unworldly level. Now, before I get into all my negatives, let me list like three pros I got about the game. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, tell <laughs> How much longer is this going to go on? How much longer are people going to like keep keep like eating up this repetitive nonsense? So a lot of people wonder how they should clean their glasses. It's really simple using stuff you've probably got around the house. Uh, nobody cares about Dark Souls 2, 3, or Sakura, or Bloodborne for that matter. Hey! Take it easy! Eyes of P got, got moved to the backlog. It's, I don't think it's a bad game or anything like that. I was just like, dude, you gotta be in the mood for this. You gotta be in the mood to fail. You gotta be in the mood to fail. But they're just designed to punish you and you're supposed to say, okay, what's the lesson? Hold up. Reforge, I'm sorry, but we gotta community check you real quick. Ah, okay, that's better. Now we can start the video. Refreshing though, isn't it? Seeing comments like this. I think they're fun. I think they're cute. Ever since I started doing Souls content back in 2015, I've had viewers occasionally ask me how I can keep being excited for the same Souls formula. I've even had some tell me that they'll be back after I stop doing Souls content. So I guess let's take a moment to say, Goodbye to these people because they ain't ever coming back. <laughs> Much like these clips I showed in the intro of this video, some viewers talk about the punishment and the challenge, and then they ask me how I can be pushed over constantly in these games and never get tired of it. So let's answer that question. Do we want something new? Do we ever get tired of Souls games? <laughs> And the short answer is no, we want more. Actually, hook that up to my veins because I cannot get enough. And the more Souls content I do, the more I see these comments, which doesn't really bother me, but it got me thinking about why the Souls formula never gets boring to me. What exactly is it? And why a simple no, it never gets old is always my answer. So here it is. You know how Souls gamers talk about their first time fighting a Souls boss? Sitting up in our seats, hands sweaty, heart beating fast, holding our breath and dying over and over, and then finally, we get it done. And that adrenaline rush hits us. My hands are shaky, I melt into my gaming chair, I look over at my chat to see what they were saying, and I might as well just ask them to hand me a cigarette, because what are we talking about here? I always think about my first time too when it comes to this topic and that it hit me today. That first time still happens. Even now, after all of the experience I have in these games, after all of the Souls games that I've beaten, I still feel that rush. I still feel that high. And most importantly, I still struggle. Souls games are not just about challenge. The environments play a part, the enemy designs, the lore, the music, the atmosphere. Of course, all of that is part of it. But at its core, what really keeps me playing is the challenge and overcoming it. That feeling of, I f***ing did it. There's no greater feeling to me when it comes to gaming. In my opinion, challenge is needed. I'm spoiled by it at this point. Ever since that first time I found a shortcut and I took down my first bosses after struggling, it just clicked. This is what I was missing a couple generations ago, and I didn't even know it until I put my hands on Bloodborne for the first time, Dark Souls for the first time, and then the rest was history. This was the feeling I had as a kid playing those difficult games, only now I'm good enough to beat them. The even crazier thing is that even when it comes to bosses I've already beaten, I can still struggle. That's not something that happens to me across other genres, typically. I still struggle against Pontiff, I still struggle against Father G and German, 
And even when I know what to do, I can still struggle and die a lot. Granted, I know where to go to find the bosses, I know how to beat them, what is needed to win based on how I did it before, and all of that experience is handy in giving me an edge, but I still will die. The thing is, unless you're a speedrunner or one of the best players ever, chances are you're gonna get these challenges and these highs again and again, even on Souls likes that you've already beaten. Isn't that freaking awesome? The challenge just never goes away. And even more so with new Souls-like games, we get to experience that challenge and that feeling of overcoming that challenge with different styles, different coats of paint, different developers behind them, giving us their own version of a Souls-like with their own twist. Lies of P, Blasphemous, Neo, Mortal Shell, The Last Faith, Remnant, Code Vein, and the list goes on and on. The challenge is consistently there to keep us on our toes. It's beautiful, really. And really, it's like chasing the high of beating bosses that rip us apart, and we get to experience it over and over. It never stops, no matter how much experience I have. No matter how good I get, there's always an enemy mob, a difficult area, or a boss that is going to humble me. And games from other genres just can't really always say the same. Souls games are forever punishing us, and unlike the gamers I showed in the intro, we cannot get enough. Thus, jumping from Souls game to Souls game, Souls-like to Souls-like, it always feels fresh. It just never gets old because it's presented in a different way, but the feeling is the same. You die, get good, and then you succeed. And it feels glorious every time. That's all I have to say. That's my answer. It's a simple no, but there's a lot more to it. And if you want to add to this, I want to know. Let me know what you guys think about this. Did I hit the nail on the head for you or is there more to it? Because I know there is. <laughs> but we would be here all day if we went into all of it. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Why Souls games never get old to you? Or maybe you're on the other side of it. And you feel like this has been repeated over and over and you're sick of it. You can't understand it. And maybe you're like the people at the beginning of this video. And that's your answer. But anyways, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye such as when attacking from above. I can hear the cries now. This is just open world Dark Souls. You got damn right it is. A variety of unique Let's go. Can also be interchanged between You're goddamn right.